Yo, 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 guys, what's going on? Dar back here again for TGN.TV. Today we are looking at making some gold with milling, our inscription profession. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to go in the auction house here. We're going to use auctioneer. We're going to go over here. It's our tabs over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on search. And we're going to go down here and find milling. These are all the different, you know, searches and stuff you can do for different professions, different uh, different things of that nature, um, just different ways of making money. So we're going to start out with 50 silver. It's going to be the profit we're looking for. The reason being is because you know, I just started with this tune. It's the first time I'm going to do it with this with this particular tune, and this is all the gold she happens to have on her at the time. So we're going to start out kind of small. All right, so I'm not going to allow bids because I just want to buy everything out. So we're going to allow buyouts there. You can see it right there. All right, we're going to go down here and we're going to search. And this is all the stuff that's brought up here that we can buy and make gold on. Now this here, let's see. We got uh, our product here. This right here is our percentage, the blue percentage of you know what they're selling, everything selling for compared to market value. Um, blue is generally you know low low percentage of you know what it typically sells for. Like there's some stuff here for four and so forth. Um, so basically, you just got all your information here. Um, this here's the reason. So you know I'm buying it out, just auto fill in stuff. All right. So we're gonna go over here. You can, like I said, you can click everything here and sort it out. Um, sorry guys, uh, I did kind of uh, mess up my recording today, so I'm doing this post commentary. Um, kind of a little different. I usually do this stuff all live. So anyway, um, you can see here, you know, I'm buying it for a few silver. Gonna make, you know, a couple gold on it. It's what it's saying here. So I'm gonna go through here, and I'm just gonna start. You know, I'm gonna end up buying, you know, buying this stuff out. Um, this is all low level stuff so here we go let's go ahead and start you know buying out this uh... uh shoot what is it called this silver leaf i think is what it's called there we're gonna buy out a bunch of it and we're also going to end up picking up uh... you know some uh, whiskey what, kickers whisker or something like that is what we're actually gonna end up picking up here out of the auction house so let's go ahead and finish all this up. Like I said, you know, this is just a quick, easy way. I'll end up spending a total of 85 gold here as I buy all this stuff out. And, uh, you know, after I buy all this out, I'll go out to the mailbox and I'll pick everything up. And when I pick it up, I will, you know, I'll use, I'll end up using Postal, which is a recommended add on. Um, you can see it in part one. You know, it just allows you to gather everything out rather quickly. Now here I am, okay, now I'm going to start buying some more pricier stuff here just so I can spend some of this money I plan on spending. Alright, that was the Kicker's Whisker or something. Go ahead and buy out this last Swift Twist uh, Silver Leaf thing. Oh, excuse me, messing with my mic a little bit. Alright, go ahead and finish this out here. Yeah, start buying this a little bit pricier stuff. Alright, and now I'm going to go out here to my mailbox. Do, 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 do. And start this is postal, one click, and we get it all. See, it goes a lot faster. Alright, and you can imagine just clicking back and forth. Man, that would have taken forever just to, you know, empty out that stuff. Alright, and I'm going to sit here and I'm going to cut it here and I'm going to mill everything. Be right back on here as soon as we get done milling. All right, we have milled everything, and what we ended up getting here is you can see. Look here at my bags. You can see what I got here. What I got. What I ended up getting was I ended up getting 50 alabaster pigments, and you can just see here I'm getting and putting them up in here, kind of looking at the prices here. Um, I ended up getting 50 alabaster pigments that sold for 95 silver each. Um, 50 of them ended up netting me 9 gold and 50 silver. Um, I ended up getting what 57 emerald pigments, um, 2 gold and 88 gold, or yeah, 2 gold and 88 silver each. Um, total sales will be 164.16. 
It's 164 gold, 16 silver. And the indigo pigments, um, 20 gold, 20 silver. And that will be 80 gold and 80 silver. Alright, so what I end up with here is when I add everything together, is here's just, you know, basically just pointing here on the video showing you, you know, different things I got here. Um, and doing post commentary on these gold videos is rough. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, so, well, anyway, when I add all this up together, I ended up with 292 gold and 46 silver and sales. Now I deduct, now I subtract my you know, 85 gold investment and it brings me to a 207 gold profit and 46 silver. 240, damn it, 207 gold and 46 silver profit. There we go. So not too bad, you know, for a, you know, for a five minute run. All right, so now I'm going to start posting here. Now the way I ended up posting this was I ended up putting, you know, since I had my indigo or my emeralds, and I ended up having 57. I posted one stack of 20, all by its all by itself. And this here, okay, that was one, that was 20 stacks of singles. Um, I, and then this one here, I believe, is the yo. This one here is the one I do one stack of 20. Okay, so that'll be 40 of them. And I'll just post them up there, and then I do one stack of 17 by itself. Or I, I'm sorry, I do uh, 17 stacks of singles on that one as well. So I leave one stack of 20, and I posted the rest in singles because they sold for two gold and 80 silver a piece. On the alabasters here, so they all sell for 97 silver a piece. So I just did two stacks of 20, and then one stack of 10 on them. Um, you could post them any way you want. Like I said, it all depends on your server or the market on your own server as to how I, you know, how you would post them. Um, on the indigos here, you see each one goes for 20 gold, 20 silver. So I posted, you know, four stacks of one at that. And this again is using the sell tab for auctionator, which just makes things a whole lot easier and faster. I do use auctioneer, you know, posting if I don't have a record or if there's nothing currently up for auctionator all right guys well this has been dar over here at tgn.tv um, please remember to comment rate subscribe um, you know thumbs up the video also add to your favorites this helps all of us out over here at tgn and until next time guys this is dar and i will see you in game